अगर दोबारा इन्होंने ऐसी हरकत की खुदा की कसम इनके घर में घुस कर मारू आज मैं सिर्फ वार्निंग दे रहा हूँ मैं वोटों के लिए नहीं लड़ रहा मैं कौम के लिए लड़ रहा हूँ मैं जिला पुलिस और जिला प्रशासन को भी बताना चाहता हूँ अगर दोबारा ऐसी हरकत हुई मेरे जलसे के बराबर में अगर हिंदुओं को इजाजत दी गई तो मैं ऐसे हालात पैदा कर दूंगा कि संभालना मुश्किल हो जाएगा दिस इज वट अ कांग्रेस लीडर एंड नवजोत सिंह सिद्धू राइट हैंड मैन हैबाउट हिंदू इन पंजाब हाई एंड वेलकम दिस इज टी एफ आई इंग्लिश द नेशनल सोशल पोलिटिकल एनालिस ऑफ टी एफ आई मीडिया ग्रुप आई मे रोज थ्रिबल वन एंड इफ यू हैव सब्सक्राइब टू द टी एफ आई इंग्लिश चैनल येट Please hit the subscribe button and also click on the bell icon to receive all the recent updates. Coming back to the story in this video I will tell you how Sidhu's Mustafa will hand over Punjab to the BJP. Let's begin. Navjot Singh Sidhu had last year grabbed the headlines after he appointed alleged Pakistani sympathizers as his aides. Navjot Singh Sidhu had installed a notorious advisory panel and appointed Pyare Lal Garg and Malvinder Singh Mali as his trusted lieutenants. Malvinder Singh Mali, Sidhu's aide, described Kashmir as a separate country in his Facebook post. Mali wrote a feature-length post on his Facebook wall and restated his venom and hatred for India. It's an alienable territory. Pyare Lal Garg meanwhile questioned Captain Amrinder Singh's criticism of Pakistan. Garg said any criticism of Pakistan by captain was not in the interest of Punjab. Now, Navjot Singh Sidhu's Man Friday Muhammad Mustafa has openly threatened Punjab Sindhu Mustafa has by the way served as Punjab's DGP in the past He is the husband of Congress MLA from Maler Kotla Razia Sultana Maler Kotla is Punjab's only Muslim dominated district In August last year Punjab Congress chief Navjot Singh Sidhu had appointed former IPS officer Muhammad Mustafa as his principal strategic advisor In a video that has now gone viral on social media Muhammad Mustafa can be heard threatening Punjabi Hindus saying Allah ki kasam kha ke kehta hu inka koi jalsa nahi hone denge main qaumi fauj hu main qaumi sipahi hu main RSS ka agent nahi hu jo dar ke ghar mein ghus jaye main Allah ki kasam kha ke kehta hu inka koi jalsa nahi hone डिस्ट्रिक्ट I warned the district administration and police that if in future they allow Hindus to hold gatherings next to ours I will create such an environment that it will be difficult for them to control. Meanwhile BJP's national spokesperson Shazia Ilmi accused Sidhu's aide of trying to incite violence in the state and disturbing communal harmony by making provocative speeches ahead of Punjab assembly polls. Shazia Ilmi also said that an FIR should be lodged against Muhammad Mustafa for trying to disrupt peace in Punjab and issuing open calls for violence. Shazia Ilmi added that the BJP would ask the election commission to cancel the ticket of his wife Razia Sultana. She said, "Can they rake up communal sentiments and get votes? Not just Mustafa and his wife, but also Congress and Rahul Gandhi and others. Why are you bringing in Allah?" This is a matter of great shame and shows the hypocrisy of the Congress party which talks of secularism. This is anti-constitutional and an attempt to scare our Hindu brother. Punjab BJP leader Subhash Sharma said Muhammad Mustafa has the same mindset as Sidhu. He hugs Pakistan's leader who sent drugs and weapons every day. Congress is facing infighting factionalism and anti-incumbency in Punjab. Hindus are traditional Congress voters in the state. So guess who Congress tried to alienate with Mustafa's genocidal speech? That's right, Punjab's Hindus. Now Hindus are motivated to ensure that Congress does not come to power in the state once again. Congress has lost Hindu voters of the state. For a party not doing well among the Jat Sikhs as well, the alienation of Hindu voters is a sure shot way of ensuring a resounding defeat. The BJP by raising its voice against the Congress's apparent hatred for Hindus is poised to gain grounds in the state and consolidate its position among the Hindu voters. Election to Punjab's 177 member legislative assembly will be held in a single phase on February 20. The counting of votes for the same is to be held on March 10th. 